May school students are getting the opportunity to reap what they sow. A grant allowed them to buy 35 hydroponic gardens placed in all 14 schools. KSN's Mally Jones is live in Mays. In Mally, this project is teaching students a variety of lessons. Yeah, good morning, Eddie. P the students are, uh, are able to plant, maintain, harvest, and eat what they produce. That includes 18 different varieties, including kale, spinach, peppers, and tomatoes. The director of food services at Mays says they were looked for a way to get local, sustainable, fresh produce, and each garden is equivalent to a 40 square foot farm. An educator is in charge of the garden, but students are responsible for the daily maintenance, like testing the pH and trimming the roots. The students are trying and learning about crops unfamiliar to them, setting them up for the future. Gives them exposure to some culinary aspects and agricultural aspects that they maybe wouldn't have considered as a career. Um, and so as they get older in our high schools, they have the career and technical education path that they could now have some exposure, be interested in. I also spoke to a student who says she's never done anything like this before. I'll have that story coming up at 530. Eddie. I like the culinary um, and uh, all the science just mixed into that, Mally. I look forward to seeing you back here in the next 30 minutes. Thank you. And a program in Mays is allowing students to see the fruits of their labor. KSN's Mally Jones is live in Mays. And Mally, students are growing their own food. Yeah, they have 35 hydroponic gardens across all 14 schools, and the students are growing their own produce from seedling to food. The director of food services in Mays says they are using the gardens to teach hands on learning in science and agriculture and skills like leadership and social emotional learning. She says this produce is fresh, sustainable and more nutrient dense since it's going directly from the soil to plates in the cafeteria. Fourth grader Leah Salas says she hadn't gardened before getting the opportunity at school. I thought it was pretty cool because like I was helping growing it and just helping it out and we're going to put it in the lunchroom soon. The director of food services tells me this is something that also sets them up for their future. I'll have that story coming up at 6 o'clock. Eddie. All right, Mally, we'll see you back here in the next 30 minutes. Thank you.